So the normal size of an apple, it's roughly a sphere, and I guess it's, what, 10 centimeters? So I need to figure out how many of those are going to fit in my truck. Okay, so how big is a truck? A truck is uh, meters big, I guess. This would be, I used for my chocolate example, I used four meters. Let's use that. Four meters, uh, and it might be maybe two meters high, about a person's height. And maybe two meters wide as well. And so now I just do a volume calculation. So the volume of my truck is going to be four meters by two meters. How wide should we make it? Oh, approximately two meters. Now, if I get these numbers wrong, then I'm going to get the wrong answer. But I'm not going to be too worried about that because what I'm just trying to see is whether it's significant or not. If I get a really tiny fraction, then it doesn't matter if I get it wrong by a factor of two, it's still going to be tiny. On the other hand, if it's comparable, if it's maybe half of the cost of an apple, then I'm going to go, oh, this is really important. We should be far more careful about these numbers. Okay, so that's my volume of a truck. So that's going to be 4 times 2 times 2 is 16 cubic meters. My volume of my apple is 1,000 cubic centimeters. Now, what's a cubic centimeter in cubic meters? I could take this previous thing and I could multiply by 1 meter divided by 100 centimeters. That would cancel one of those centimeters and leave me with a meter and I could do that again and again and I could end up with the completely equivalent answer of a thousandth of a cubic meter which is 10 times 10 times 10 divided by 100 divided by 100 divided by 100. So once again we've made the step of making a very simple version of the formula for the volume of an apple. I just said it's about 10 centimeters and so I assumed it was a 10 centimeter cube. And of course, you might decide that an apple is more like a 10 centimeter sphere. But again, that's only going to change the numbers by a little bit. And we are only trying to see whether the price from the transport of an apple is significant or not. OK, so what we can see is we've got 16 cubic meters of truck and a thousandth of a cubic meter for an apple. So the number of apples that we can transport is about 16,000. And the price is about $600. And so the price per unit apple comes out to about four cents per apple if we round up. So what that tells us is in fact that the truck transport from the market to the supermarket is a fairly small fraction of an apple's price. And if I was to adjust these numbers, I might find it more accurately, but I don't have to worry too much. It's not like it's all coming from that truck.